Platform encryption provides enhanced encryption of your data at the field level and the files to meet your compliance requirements. It applies a strong cipher with 256-bit AES keys and choice between two encryption algorithms. It also uses, allows you to um, bring your own key mechanism. Let's start by searching encryption in the setup menu that we know. Let us quickly go over the advanced settings. Deterministic encryption is the type of encryption scheme that allows you to filter the data. When using a SQL query with filters, for example, this scheme will work with the encrypted data in those filters. The other scheme is probabilistic encryption and is the default type to encrypt. Allow BYOK to opt out of key derivation. By default, Salesforce applies a strong cipher key to encrypt the data and also periodically rotate those keys. Enabling the setting will disable the default feature and let, let you use the key that you upload to encrypt. Allow cache-only keys with BYOK. This setting allows you to define a remote endpoint where your key is stored, such as a key vault. Enable replay detection. This is to prevent replay attacks and an additional security measure for remote keys. Salesforce adds a non-C number in the callout to the endpoint and expects the remote service to return the same number and the key in the response. Encrypt custom fields in managed packages and encrypt field history and feed tracking values. By enabling this setting, it will encrypt the field history and field tracking changes that are a result of sync process on the fields. Under encryption policies here, notice how we can encrypt multiple things, fields, files and attachments, search indexes, events, chatter messages, and so on. I enabled files and attachments prior to the demo. Let us see how we can encrypt a standard field on a standard object. And then you scroll down below, and I, I chose to encrypt the attribute of the field body in the case comment object and saved it prior to the demo. Let us see how we can encrypt a custom field on an object. Here's our case object. Go to fields, search for my custom attribute, engineering number. You can see I've enabled encryption on it um, with the scheme as deterministic encryption. Switching back to home. Prior to the demo, I've added four different keys for different purposes. There are various options with respect to keys here. You can upload or generate a new key, export the current key to a backup store, or even archive or destroy the key. Let us look at the data before we apply the encryption policies. In my case record, you'll see engineering number is not being encrypted and it's in clear text displayed to the user. Now that we completed our desired settings, we've selected the fields to be encrypted and generated the keys for encrypting, let us now synchronize the data with the policies in the latest keys. This requires us to sync the data when you do this for the first time or when you rotate the key. Syncing each of the objects that we selected for encryption. Need to refresh the screen, browser page so that we see the statistics. We see that the case object and the attachments are 100% encrypted with case having three records that are encrypted and the attachments around seven. In my case record, once I refresh, You'll see that there's no difference in the way the engineering number is displayed to the user, even though it is being encrypted at rest now as per the statistics. To see the if the file is encrypted, we need to switch over to the classic UI. Navigating to the case record that has an attachment. And open the attachment. 
and you'll see the text here that the file is in fact encrypted. That's it, folks. You can see how platform encryption offers a super strong encryption scheme and capabilities to encrypt your data and files at rest, and also ability to manage your own keys. Thank you.